guys welcome back to my channel this is like the first time I've filmed since being back from Europe pretty much like three days after I got back from Europe I got really ill and it took me a week before I went to the doctor so um, I found out what was wrong and I had to actually have an operation so I just got out of theater yesterday and I'm at home I can't really walk very well could not walk when I was sick but um, I can walk a little bit better today, so I've been moving around a bit today and I thought I would film a video. I thought I would film something that was quite easy for me to do because before I went away, I put all these products um, in a little basket because they're products that I've used up to the very end. Um, some of them aren't, but you know, I've done it in the past and I'm onto my third or fourth bottle. So I thought I would share with you some products that I've completely used up so you can get a good idea of what products I absolutely adore. I think I'll start out with some makeup. I've got them down here. What should I start out with? I'll start out with my Porefessional from Benefit. I've got my second um, container of this already upstairs. So this is a really good primer that um, fills in the pores and really sort of airbrushes your skin before you even put makeup on. But um, this is really good. And it's the first primer that I've ever had that was actually flesh toned. So um, this is like a cult product as well. So you probably already know what that is. And then another primer I have is the Hourglass Veil. Because this is so expensive, I literally like scraped it out, if you can see, using a brush. So um, yeah, this Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, it's my favorite primer hands down. I'm still using it um, every single day on to my second bottle. Um, it's a very lightweight, um, velvety product that minimizes redness, fills in the pores, makes anything that you put on top of it waterproof, sorry, water resistant. And I really like the way it makes my skin look and the way that it absorbs all throughout the day. It keeps me matte for a really long time. So I like that one. And then I've got four foundations because I'm a foundation fiend. One of the ones that I used up recently was the Dior Skin Air Flash. And I tried this because, well, I mean, brands send me products all the time. So I just tried it because I sent it. Just happened to be the right color for me, which is... 300 so it's just like an airbrush foundation so you actually spray it on your face you have to make sure you shake it and you spray it what I like about it most was it gives a really nice finish to the skin an airbrush finish hence the name air flash um, but also it's just so quick like if you do it properly you don't even have to blend it that much like sometimes if I was really busy I'd like put my towel over my hair so I didn't get on my hair and then um, if I was rushing for example put that over my head and then I go Shh, and it would just even out my complexion. It has a really nice natural look, but it has really good coverage. Um, I think because it's so light, it can give you that like great coverage without looking cakey. Will buy that again, but when I went to Europe, I went to go buy it and I couldn't remember my color. So we'll definitely buy that again. And then my Arbonne Perfecting Liquid Foundation. This is like my third or fourth bottle of this stuff. It's a beautiful foundation. I'm wearing it right now. It's a very, um, again, like what I love. I don't like really fake looking foundations. It lets my skin show like all of the foundations that I'm going to show you. It lets your skin show through. Um, this one is quite creamy. I wouldn't use the word creamy, but I mean, all my other foundations that I'm going to be showing you are really lightweight. This one's not that lightweight, but you don't have to apply much to get a really nice coverage and you can build it up to a really full coverage. You can use a very small amount and get a thin coverage. It's just really nice and I like that it doesn't have parabens and stuff in it. Now the next two I think are actually the same product, they're just not telling us. I like the L'Oreal Paris Nude Magique Eau de Ton and the Maestro Fusion Makeup by Giorgio Armani. Um, the Giorgio Armani one comes in a dripper and then the this uh, L'Oreal one doesn't. I think the dripper is really good because it's a really thin foundation. Um, it like drips down your face when you put it on. So you have to shake it really well because sometimes it will separate. Um, these are both used up. Um, this was my, I've got my second bottle upstairs and I'm onto like my third of the Nude Magique. Obviously the Nude Magique is like cheaper. I mean, this one's like $86 and then this one is, it must be between 20 and 30, I think. Last time I bought was in England, so it was in pounds, so I don't know how much it is in Australian. So it gives a really nice, both of them give a really nice bare skin look. It's a very matte finish, I would say. Um, whereas the Arbonne and Christian Dior are not really matte finish, but these two are quite matte. Now the other makeup products, I've got the Napoleon NP Set San Francisco Lipstick. Um, they have seemed to have changed the formula since I first bought this, like, five years ago. Um, it's a bit darker now, but it used to be this beautiful 
Pale Nude shade and it's a really nice um, like glossy lipstick. Every now and then I still dip into this one because I like this color a bit better than the San Francisco that I seem to get now when I purchase this. So NP Set is the brand that Napoleon Purtis owns. So it's just cheaper than their original range that you get in their boutiques and stuff. Um, and I really like this color. And then I have the L'Oreal Paris Decrease. This is like my first primer ever. I swear, when I was watching YouTube like five years ago, you couldn't buy primers in Australia. Eye primers did not exist. I swear. I looked everywhere, couldn't find it, and then I went to some like discount $2 store and found this there. Um, served me well. It really mattifies the eye and it's tinted so it like, um, evens out the skin tone and it did make my makeup stay all day. It, I don't use it that much anymore, but it's used up. As you can see. And then I'm onto my third little um, container of the L'Oreal Paris False Lash Wings Butterfly Wings Mascara. This one's got little fibers in it so it lengthens your lashes. It's also got a weird shaped brush. Um, and I use this one all the time. And because, you know, I do like high end mascaras as well, but when you use something every single day, if you can find an affordable alternative, I'll often just go with that. But this gives me the same effect as my high end makeup. So that's this done. And then I'm going to show you my skincare. So I've got um, the skincare that I'm using is actually Palactive. I'm now on to, or I really need to purchase my third of this cleanser. It's the Gentle Foaming Cleanser. I use their whole range. Um, not long ago, I went in for a facial and they gifted me like quite a lot of it. And I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to stick to this regime and see how it goes. After two weeks, I was like, it's working. I'm not going to change it. So ever since, I haven't changed it. It's um, an Australian skincare company, and I use their foaming cleanser, I use their like exfoliator, their serum, their night cream, their toner, I use it all because I think the key to good skin is just using everything from the same range because they're products and ingredients that work together. So this one's not like really heavy duty. If I want to use it to remove my makeup, I have to use it twice, which is probably why I use it up so quickly. But um, yeah, you have to remove your makeup first, and then I use this in the shower, and then the rest of my skincare regime. I will do a video on my skincare soon. I actually need to order more, so I can show you. Now for tan, I've got my Centropay Self Tan Bronzing Mousse is one that I use all the time, never lets me down. I like mousses because they're so quick drying, like I apply it with a mitt, and it just dries so quickly because it's light as foam. And I also really like the Goddess Glaze by Naked Tan, I've used both of these up. It's the Gradual Tan Goddess Glaze. So this is just a nice one to apply daily so that you've just got a nice glow. Um, I really like this one. I haven't completely used it up, but I can feel that there's not enough in there to cover my whole body. So it's like kind of will have to just apply it to my face or something like that. Then I used up the Vaseline Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer in Cocoa Glow. I also used up the yellow one, the regular one. These are really good lightweight moisturizers that you spray on. It's just quicker to just spray it on rather than pumping it into your hand and then spraying it over your body. Um, I really like the smell of this one, but um, yeah, it's really nice. And very non-greasy and takes hardly any time to dry because it's quite thin. It's not very thick. Um, saves time and I do really like it. Next, I have my Di Lorenzo Elements Sandstorm Dry Texture Spray. I love putting this in the roots of my hair before I tease and it makes the teasing stay for ages. It's kind of like spray teasing powder in a bottle. Um, I like this. I haven't repurchased this one only because I've got um, like the same thing by other brands that do the same thing. And then last, I've got my Glam Glow Mask. Thing is, the only reason it's finished is because it dried. Can you see? So I did reach the bottom, but like... The rest of it dried up. So the Hollywood California Glam Glow Mask. Um, it's really popular. I don't know if you can even get it in Mecca anymore. But it's a really nice mask. Um, it's a mud mask. I don't know what it really contained that's so special. But when you apply it and it dries, you can see your little pores where it's sucking out the oil and the grime. Um, I really like it. I just wish that it came in a bigger tub or something. That's, um, yeah. And it's, it's so expensive. Like, I have other mud masks that kind of do the same thing, so I probably won't repurchase that, but it was really good, and I mean, if you want to try a great mud mask, then I do recommend it. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's all my, my products. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.